Blastmaster here with How2 Men, and uh, I just wanted to discuss an application for you guys. Basically, I want to start off by saying that most of us purchase a lot of packages. They come in the mail, and we want to track those packages. So, there's an application called Slice Package Tracker, and what it does, it allows you to track all of your packages automatically without having to input the tracking number. These are the things that are being shipped right now. So here you can see I bought an MKBHD uh, plug-in tee, so that's pretty cool. You also have a 3D printed Android Marshmallow figure, so that's being shipped as well. Uh, I actually purchased it already, so it's right here. There you can see that's what it looks like. But if you go to the past, you can see different things I have purchased. For example, the Nexus 6P, the Nexus 6P case. So for example, if I go into maybe this tripod I purchased on Amazon, you can see that as well, tracking info, where I bought it from, uh, where it shipped to, and I can view the email receipt, and I can view the order details, and it automatically inputs all of this for me. I don't need to go into the manual settings and I have to input all these different options. It does it automatically, which is great because that saves me a lot of time. Uh, let's say for whatever reason it doesn't have one of the packages because maybe he texted you the tracking info so it's not on your Gmail. What you would do there is you would just press press this button right here and you can add the shipment so you just press that button you add the name if you want to you add the tracking number that's very important and then the carrier it mainly has most of the major shipping carriers most of them should be there these are all your orders if you slide it to the right basically these are all the orders that you purchased in the past it doesn't have to be packages it could be maybe paypal maybe you're paying for your subscriptions you can even buy applications from the google play store and it will appear on here so if you slide the menu out, you can go into purchases, which is the same thing. It shows you everything you purchased in the past, just everything in general, and you can just tap on it and it will give you more info on the product. You also have Discover. So this is pretty cool because you can find products where the prices have dropped today. So you can find them from Best Buy, Loft, Nordstorm, all these different uh, websites. There's not a lot of them, but we're gonna tap on Best Buy, see what they have. So you can see they lowered the price for a controller. They lower the price for a lot of different options. You have a GPS, uh, a bag, a keyboard. Let's say you want to buy this keyboard. You just tap on it. They will load up the device so that way you can add it to your cart. And it has dropped in price, which is awesome. It went from $60 to $35. If you go to recalls, this is pretty cool because these are items that have been purchased by people, but has been recalled by the Consumer Product Safety Commission for safety reasons. They're just not safe in general. So there you can see this is why they took them down, maybe a liquid force response. Kiteboard control system is a little bit too dangerous. Adhersive remover, that's a little bit too dangerous. You can also view slice and dice. This is everything you have purchased in the past. It shows you how much you spent and what you have spent most of your money on. So I spent most of my money on electronics and accessories, the home kitchen. And if you tap on it, you can view what those products are. So that way they're not lying to you. They're not just giving you random numbers. They're actually stuff that you buy in the past. So if I pop up the menu, go into the settings, you can link your inbox, basically your Gmail accounts, all of your emails, Yahoo, Hotmail, whatever. And it will actually automatically grab all of your tracking emails and just put it automatically in your list of packages that are being shipped and being tracked. And you can also add your Amazon account as well. So things that you have purchased on Amazon, that way you can get more detailed trackings. Uh, they use that as well. So I logged in with my Amazon account. Uh, you can add a passcode in if you want to log in with the passcode. You will have to make an account though, but I just logged in with my Google account, which is fine because I don't have to keep on trying to go into my account and add all my inboxes when I switch between devices. They're automatically there, so I don't have to worry about, you know, my other phone not having the same accounts that I have on this phone. And the last thing I wanted to mention about this application, it will alert you when the price of something you purchased in the past has been reduced after you bought it. Awesome, check it out in the Google Play Store. It's called Slice Package Tracker. It's free. Show it to your friends and you can try it out. I'll have a link in the description to that. And I will see you guys in the next one. Kapow!